Hello and welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to protect your WordPress website from brute force attacks. We are going to cover some of the best practices that can help secure your WordPress website from different types of brute force attacks. So, the worst thing is that why should you even worry about brute force attack? Basically, nowadays, preventing a website has become more troublesome than actually building one. Brute force attacks can easily steal your credentials for the administrator account, even easily shut down your entire website. So before heading inside the best practices on how to stop brute force attack, we must know what a brute force attack actually is. So basically, brute force attack is a cyber attack where the attacker tries to access your site or find your account credentials. The attacker tries different usernames and password combinations in a sequential order until he finds the right one. For this, he can go with a manual brute force attack or an automated brute force attack. Now, the thing is that it can highly affect your business. Basically, if the brute force attack is a success, well, you simply lose the credentials to your website. And even if the brute force attack was a failure, due to the continuous login request from the attacker, your website resources are going to get consumed, thus causing the website to crumble. Now before moving forward, we are going to learn about the different type of brute force attacks that continuously endanger our WordPress website. So the very first type of attack for WordPress website is a vertical brute force attack. Now in a vertical brute force attack, the attacker or the malicious user makes multiple login attempts with different credentials on a single website. Well, these types of attacks are pretty much easy to detect when you're getting multiple login attempts from a same IP address. But there are other ways the brute force user or the malicious user can prevent you from detecting the attack. And then there is a horizontal brute force attack. Well, instead of multiple attempts by a single user on a single site, the attacker uses brute force against more than one site as one attempt per site, which makes the horizontal brute force attack very hard to detect. Because for horizontal brute force attack, multiple users make single attempt on a single website thus making it very hard to detect horizontal brute force attacks. And lastly, the third category that endangers our WordPress website is actually known as the botnet attack. Well, a botnet is nothing but an automated brute force attack. It means that hundreds of thousands of login combinations per second are going to be tested against your WordPress website. Now, botnet attacks require more resources to execute that is why it is much more dangerous for your WordPress website. Now, due to it being totally automated, it is one of the most effective brute force attacks. And the horrors of botnet does not stop there because botnet attacks can either be horizontal, can be vertical, and in much worse case scenarios, it can be both. So let's talk about the first best practice that can save your WordPress website. Number one, strong and unique credentials. So make sure that the credentials that you're using for your WordPress login are strong and unique. Like if you're using the credential or the password as 123456, which is in a sequential order, it is really easy to crack that password. Now there are certain tips and tricks that you can use while creating a password or while creating a username. The very first tip is that change your default username from admin to something else. And make sure that username or that password does not have anything in relation to you or your information. Use numbers, words, capital letters and special characters in your password. Also, avoid using a word from a dictionary in any language because words are really easy when it comes to botnet attacks. Botnet actually uses a library of dictionaries to test out certain combinations of usernames and passwords. And then again, don't use the same password for multiple sites. Make sure that you provide different passwords for different WordPress websites. Number two is actually limiting the total number of attempts a particular IP address can make for your WordPress website. Even if you have a strong password, it can be found by continuous brute force attacks. Even though it contains special letters, characters and stuff like that, it can still be found. So make sure that you're using a plugin that helps you limit the total number of attempts made to your login page. Now for this, you can check out the link in the description box for the cloud single sign-on by Cloud Infrastructure Services. Now it contains a lot of different features which you can find on the link in the description box which include WordPress single sign-on, attribute mapping, protecting your website, auto redirect SSO, WordPress role mapping, multiple environment support for development, staging and production and so much more. And then we move on to number three. So number three is implementing a two-factor authentication. Now a two-factor authentication really comes into play when you have lost your credential. 
basically even if your password or username is compromised you still get a notification that someone is trying to log in to your account and then you get a password which is known as an OTP sent to your mail or your mobile phone number which is required to complete the login process. So even if you fall victim to brute force attacks which is basically a trial and error attack you are still secured by that two factor authentication. Now the fourth step is to protect the WordPress admin directory. Basically, whenever a hacker is trying to get access to the credentials, it is going to do for the WordPress admin because the admin directory is where you can publish your post and manage your website. So what you can do is that you can add in another layer of security for the WordPress admin. Now simply click the link in the description box which would take you to the blog post of Cloud Infrastructure Services which tells you how you can add in another layer of protection on the admin account using the cPanel and also applying that same layer of security manually by using the HT password file and the HT access file. Number 5 is disabling directory browsing. So whenever a user visits a website, the site server delivers an index file to the visiting browser. But if the browser or server can access the index file, the visitor can see the file's directories of the website as you can see in the image shown to you on the screen. Now the attackers can use this information to know your site plugins and elements that you're using on your website and thus create a brute force attack specifically for your WordPress website. Now you can fix this by doing some simple tips and tricks which is to download the HD access file and then using an FTP client you can change the options for indexes. Now you can learn more about that in the blog post by CIS. Number 6 is disabling the PHP file execution. Now some directories of WordPress are editable and writable. Well this is a feature for developers so that they can add in custom themes or add in custom features. However, hackers may misuse this to access the backdoor of your site. To avoid it, you should always and always disable the PHP file execution on your WordPress website. Now the thing is that WordPress was written in PHP and it works on PHP so you cannot completely disable PHP execution. However, you can disable the PHP execution in certain folders. So simply copy the line which is deny from all. So the way to disable PHP execution in certain folders is that you simply use an FTP client to download the HD access file and then add in the line deny from all and then use the FTP client again to upload that .ht access file back to the server. So that is going to basically disable the PHP file execution in certain folders of your WordPress website. Number 7. Installing a firewall protection. Now, as I've mentioned how a brute force attacks work, basically they attempt multiple logins with different combinations of username and password from a particular IP address. That is why I said that they are easy to detect. But the actual challenge comes when the brute force attacker is actually using a botnet or some other software that continuously changes his IP address that can be a VPN or some any other service. So. In that regard, it is very hard to detect and block or limit the login attempt from a particular IP address when the attacker is continuously changing its IP address. In that particular case, you need to make sure that you have installed a firewall protection on your WordPress website. Now the 8th tip is actually the most crucial one that is to install security plugins. Most of the WordPress website simply ignored this process but it is by far the most crucial step because a security plugin can save you not only from brute force attacks but from other attacks as well. It can save you from DDoS attacks, phishing attacks, malware attacks and other known WordPress vulnerabilities. Now Cloud Infrastructure Services has a list of top security plugins whose link is going to be mentioned in the description box. And the ninth practice is secure your user account. Well, another important thing that most site owners don't do is actually manage their users, writers, editors, accounts and etc. Though most of the times admin account is the major target of the attacker, still other user accounts are not safe. Now by getting the access to your editor account or writer account, the attacker can easily install new plugins or scam your customers in your name. So that is why you should always secure your user accounts even if they are not admin accounts. And the last practice is to continuously update and backup your WordPress website. Now it is a very general rule of thumb when it comes to WordPress security to be always up to date with the latest technologies and the latest update from WordPress itself and to always keep a backup of your website. Now the reason for this is that no protection or security is impenetrable. Now it is best to have your WordPress site backed up. Restoring your site as quickly as possible saves you a lot of data loss and more importantly the trust of the customers and consumers. Now that was all of the 10 practices that can save your WordPress website from brute force attacks. 
Again, make sure to check the link in the description box for the single sign-on plugin by Cloud Infrastructure Services which provides you with features that can protect your website. And finally, make sure to check out the link in the description box for the blog post on how to keep yourself safe from brute force attacks which explains each and every step covered in this video in a little more detail. Now if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.